take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, just imagine breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow your eyelids to close. And as they close, notice that immediately you can give more of your focus and your attention to the sound of my voice. As you breathe in, just imagine that you're breathing in not just a breath, but a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just get the sense that you're giving permission to your body to let go of any feeling of stress, tension or worry. So simply by breathing in and breathing out, powerful resources are going in and tension and stress. Just feel it leaving your body in that outward breath. I want you to create an image in your mind of someone having a transfusion. Clean blood going in, infected blood going out. And just accept the idea that as you breathe in this wonderful feeling of resourcefulness, good things are going in. And when you exhale, just imagine that anything that is unresourceful is starting to leave your body. So just by breathing in and breathing out, you're creating a transfusion of resources. That's it. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to think of a time when you were out in nature. Maybe a forest, maybe a beach, maybe a lake, maybe the sea. But a time when you felt deeply relaxed and connected with yourself. Maybe a time when you were just thinking about your life, thinking about who you are, thinking about what you want for the future. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine being in that place. It's not real, of course, just your imagination, but in your imagination, maybe you can imagine things in nature, the sky, the clouds, if it's daytime, the sun on your skin, the freshness of the air. And as you breathe in and breathe out, again, accept the idea. It's not just a breath, but you're breathing in that resourceful feeling of relaxation and exhaling anything unresourceful. Something unresourceful could be a belief that isn't true about what kind of person you are that isn't serving you, that's holding you back. It could be an emotion, frustration, guilt, shame. Anything holding you back, just feel it's leaving your body in that outward breath. And the resources that you breathe in don't have to be relaxation. It could be a sense of inner confidence. It could be a sense of personal responsibility. Because there's been times in your life that you went through difficult times. And there's been times in your life that you became better because of adversity and because of challenge. I want you to think of a boxer. It could be a real boxer. Or it could be a fictional boxer. Like Rocky. Rocky. I want you to think of those characters that you admire the most and how adversity improved the fighter. That if the fights were easy, the fighter doesn't become better. That sometimes life will give us battles, give us fights. You can either step up and take the fight or you can find a way of avoiding it. And I want you to think about what it would mean in your life if rather than avoiding, you became a more resourceful, more determined, more stronger version of you willing to take that fight. I want you to imagine that wherever you are in your imagination, you see a path that splits into two. 
a path that splits into two is of course a symbol for two different choices to carry on as things are or to take a different path, a different route a different future take a deep breath in that's it, release any feelings of tension relax those eyelids and I want you to imagine taking the path where nothing changes I want you to imagine what it would be like where when things get tough you need some form of substance some form of external help and I want you to notice that to begin with it kind of feels like it's necessary it's needed but then over time the opposite feels like it's true that rather than helping it feels like you can't do it without it and I want you to imagine walking down this path and imagining your real life five more years of being dependent and dependency can mean whatever you want it to mean it could be a substance a coping strategy something where you need something to change how you feel and I wonder if this is just a way of postponing delaying unpleasant emotions until they build up and build up so it requires more and more dependency on this thing to make those unpleasant feelings go away but I want you to go forward 10 years now 10 years of being dependent and maybe you're consuming more because once the brain learns that these things help even if it's not true it can create addictive loops where you're then looking for reasons to take that thing, to do that thing. And I want you to go forwards in time until there is an, an inevitable consequence of this lifestyle, this choice. I want you to experience something unpleasant that is probable or likely as a direct consequence of this cause and effect relationship but I want you to observe it like you're seeing yourself in the future like you're someone else maybe you see yourself 10, 20 years older see yourself experiencing a consequence that most people would say would be inevitable based on the path that you've been following and once you can see that, witness it let me know by nodding your head I want you to step into that version of you so you're not witnessing it but you're now experiencing it something unpleasant as a direct consequence of not changing and I want you to feel where in your body is a resolution a commitment to change and when you found that feeling let me know by nodding your head that's it and I want you to imagine rewinding everything from the future all the way to the present. Imagine all those memories happen backwards. The thoughts happen backwards. The feelings happen backwards. Everything happens backwards. Like you're rewinding a movie while you're in it. Until you return to the present where you're listening to my voice right now. And when you feel like you're back in the present, but with that resolution, that desire to change. Let me know by nodding your head. I want you to find yourself back out there in nature this time choosing a different path but in order to take this path we need to find you at a point in time where you had the resources required to take this path so I want you to go back in time seeing yourself perhaps 12 or 13 years ago observe yourself when you felt resourceful perhaps motivated Maybe you're using exercise and rituals and routines to help you deal with life, help you deal with tough emotions. When some people get stressed, they grab a drink. 
glass of wine, a bottle of beer, other people hit the gym. I want you to see you at a time in your life where exercise helped. Perhaps running. Perhaps sit-ups. Perhaps boxing on a bag or some pads. I want you to see that version of you where you voluntarily chose to do something challenging, difficult and tough because it made you feel good but more importantly it made everything else in your life seem easier to deal with and I want you to start mimicking that version of you start mimicking your facial expressions your breathing feel like you're becoming like that version of you back then See that look in your eye that you weren't afraid of doing tough things, waking up early, maybe going for jogs in unpleasant weather. It's almost like the tougher it was, the better it made you feel. You weren't afraid of the hard work. You weren't afraid of the challenge. It was the challenge that made it appealing. And then I want you to step into that version of you back then when you were waking up early taking on that challenge using exercise as a way to make you stronger, more resourceful mentally tough feel how good it felt to feel that way and when you feel like you're reactivating that part of you that already knows how to do this already knows that it works and realize that it works better than what you've currently been doing that the side effects that you get fitter, stronger, healthier, greater sense of pride, satisfaction, the discipline spreads out into different areas of your life. When the side effects become positives, there's no downside to an addiction like that. And when all parts of you are happy that this is a better pathway than perhaps the pathway you have been on, let me know by nodding your head. Find yourself back there in front of that path, the new path this time, and walk forwards. As you walk on the path, feel like you're experiencing your real life as you want it to be. But I want you to imagine you're seeing yourself like you're someone else, almost like a rocky montage. On day one, just getting out of bed slightly earlier, that's a win. Changing what you eat, doing a tiny bit of exercise... That's just the beginning of this montage that you're creating in your mind. And then day two, you can do a bit more. And maybe day three or week two, you're doing a bit more. And I want you to see that maybe you're doing this at a time where you phased one thing out in your life while you're introducing something new. And that it's helping. See yourself in that kind of fatigue state, maybe going through withdrawals. But equally see that the exercise is helping giving you something to think about, to focus on, to do. And that actually, that unpleasant, low energy, fatigued, irritable part is necessary because your mind is now looking for something to latch onto that is positive and beneficial and helpful. And I want you to see you going through that first few days, first few weeks, going through that bad patch until you can see yourself getting out of bed wanting to exercise wanting to get fitter wanting to get stronger maybe see yourself drinking healthy teas drinking more water see yourself living the kind of life where the things that used to bother you stress you, make you anxious almost doesn't seem to phase you anymore You've become more resourceful, so all the demands in your life seem less significant. And if you're witnessing a version of you that feels like you can take on the challenges of your life rather than avoid them, let me know by nodding your head. And then I want you to step into that montage where you're living it rather than observing it. Feel what it likes to have that first day where just anything is a win. Anything is progress, and it still feels good in comparison to where you've been. Feel that fatigue, feel that 
natural side effect of your body withdrawing from something it's beginning to expect. I want you to create an image in your mind of a spoiled child. I want you to imagine that this child gets given lots of money whenever they complain or moan. And the parents realize that they're not helping this child to deal with life, to face challenges, to be responsible. And I want you to imagine witnessing this child's expressions and face where suddenly the parents refuse to give any money to this child. And to begin with, this child is angry, upset, annoyed, feeling lost. But the parents don't give in. No matter how much this child struggles, the parents don't resist. They don't give in to that temptation of giving that child money, even though they love that child. They won't keep enabling that child to be spoiled. And for the first few days and weeks, maybe even months, it's tough for that child because they were so dependent on something else. But then one day, that pain, that discomfort creates ideas, motivation, a desire to be their own person, to face the challenges of the world rather than to rely on something else. And I want you to observe that the best thing that can happen to that child is not being dependent on the resources that are external, but finding the resources that are internal. And you are awakening those resources inside you. You have no desire to be dependent on external things. You want to create those powerful resources that you've had in the past, which give you evidence that they already exist. You're not learning something new. You're reactivating the resources that are already within you. You're prepared. Prepared for those days and weeks where it's a bit tough. Because you know you can handle it. And you know it's necessary for you to become the version of you that you can be proud of. That you want to be. That will step up and fight life's battles rather than avoid them. To be the hero, not the coward. And if you're ready to step into this identity, let me know by nodding your head. Set. Reactivating all of these resources. Feel where they are in your body. And I just want you to place your hand on where those resources of inner strength resolve feel where they are in your body that's it and whenever you do this motion think this feeling have that way of breathing you will reactivate these resources whenever you need them most knowing that this is your life with your choices and that you can be that spoiled coward or you can be the hero in your own life story to face the adversity voluntarily, to know it will be tough and take on the challenge anyway. Take all of those resources, return to the present, and very soon I will count from one to ten to awaken you. You will awaken feeling resourceful, focused, ready to embark on a new chapter in your life, a challenging chapter that will take your life in the direction you want it to go rather than where it could naturally flow. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.